Hey everybody, it's Dr. Smith. So um, I always say that uh, I'm Dr. Smith from Accomplished Health and Wellness here in Lawrence, Kansas. But what does that even mean? I, you know, I never say. So I think once I told you I was a family doctor, and I do, I am. So I see um, all ages from I always say from birth to from cradle to the grave. That's what I say. That's kind of morbid. You never but said that to me. I do that. Okay. Anyways, um, so this is my daughter, Elsie, and um, I am an osteopath. And so um, in medical school, I was taught not only how to uh, treat and manage disease, just like any MD is, but I'm also taught how to uh, diagnose and treat with my hands, wherever they are. Okay. <laughs> And so this video goes out to my friend Karen, who um, had an ear problem a couple weeks ago. And she was telling me all about her ear and how it was bothering her. And it was a weekend. And I was like, oh, you should do these techniques to drain the ear. And it'll get so much better if it's an ear infection. And um, she was like, oh, I'll have to Google that. But guess what? There's no videos out on it. There's only a video on the gall breath technique. So I'm going to show you two, two techniques. One is the auricular drainage. And the second one is the gall breath technique. Now, um, I do them together simultaneously. And this is my trusty um, assistant, Elsie. She's my oldest. And um, so, you know, ear infections don't need to be treated with antibiotics all the time. It's actually like 70 to 80 percent of all ear infections um, your body can clear on their own within about two to three days. But we always want to get that treatment because, you know, our kids are in pain and who wants to have a kid screaming in pain all night, right? So everyone's always like knee jerk antibiotic. I am not. So um, I actually do these techniques all the time on my patients and um, my kids. And this is my procedure room and the lighting in here sucks and it makes me look sick. But I swear I'm not. That thieves worked the other day. So anyways, um, I'm going to do the auricular technique first. Um, so I always do the auricular first and then I follow it up with the gall breath technique. And they both will drain the ear, and usually within 24 hours, which is great for people that have ear infections. Now, ear pain is not always ear infections, okay? So ear pain can also be jaw pain. That gets referred to the ear. It's so close. The joint is so close that you'll feel it in your ear. Also, the upper part of your neck, if it gets out of line, you will feel it in your ear. Um, and so, and then at the base of your skull, if you have headache or tension or anything there, you can feel it in your ear. You can also get ear pain with just fluid behind your ear. If your allergies are acting up and everything, you can get ear pain in your ear. And that none of those are infections, right? So if you think that you have an infection, you should actually have the ear looked at. And if it's infected and they say, you know, it's infected and um, we should do an antibiotic, you can always try this first for a couple of days and, and then see if it clears on its own. So... Um, you're just going to see my hand. I'm going to stand up. What you're wanting to do is make a V with um, your, between your third and fourth finger, and you put it right on um, around the ear. So the ear's in the middle. And then you're going to just put your hand on the head, firm grip, so you can shake them. No, never shake your baby, <laughs> ever. Okay, so here we go. So you're going to go um, in a clockwise fashion a couple of times around, and you can go counterclockwise. It doesn't really matter. You just want to go in a circle. And then at the end of when you do like three or three to five is what I usually do, then you're actually going to pull down on the jaw and pull over. So I do it all at once. One, two, three, four, five. And then I pull down on the jaw. Oh, oh my nice. popped her neck. That's not, that's not what I was going to do. But um, So you want to hold pressure here when you're pulling down. So the auricular drainage is actually the circle. 
and then um, down, pulling down is called the gall breath technique. Yes, you can do um, just that one by itself. You hook your, you hook right on the angle of the mandible with your fingers, and you just pull down into the other side. Um, I do that sometimes. She gets some TMJ problems, and What's I'll do that, that for her jaw pain. Oh. So, um, so you want to hold pressure so that you have something to pull against, right? Stop moving your head so much. She's like moving with me. I don't know why, because she's silly. Um, so I will. I would do this about three times, um, each one, and three to five. You know, there's not like any oh hard and fast rule about it. So just like that. And what you can do is um, you can do this technique three times a day, um, and you would do it for two to three days. And usually actually within 24 hours, it drains the ear and then you just keep doing it to make sure that the ear continues to drain. And it'll treat your ear infections that are true ear infections. So if it's jaw pain or neck pain or like back of your head pain, um, that's not gonna get cured with us. So you'll have to do massage and see your osteopath for an adjustment. Or if you have a chiropractor, you can see your trusty chiropractor. So anyways, um, that is all that I wanted to show you today. If you have any questions, always um, feel free to, what are you doing? Stop bouncing. She's, stop bouncing. She's bouncing. <laughs> like I said, um, say goodbye. Bye. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, uh, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, we will have our normal tea time again on Tuesday. Thanks. Bye.